Hello table tennis fans, I'm back with a new video tutorial and this one is all about how you can improve the quality of your backhand flick. The backhand flick is a really important shot in table tennis, it allows you to attack short backspin serves and it's a great way of putting your opponent under pressure right at the beginning of a rally. The tips in this video come from Ferenc Hovat, who is a um, very experienced table tennis coach, worked in many different countries. Ferenc is going to give you five tips, five tips about how you can improve your backhand flick. So if you want to get a spinnier backhand flick, a speedier backhand flick, then keep watching. So how does the arm mechanics work when you execute a backhand flick? You need a high elbow position and you need a low racket position. You start the swing with your wrist, you use these muscles in your arm, so make sure you are not flicking from your elbow, you need to drive your wrist. This is how you accelerate the racket and if you do it fast enough, if it's accelerated enough, you are able to counter the spin of the serve. So you accelerate it and you use the momentum of this acceleration and you let the arm, the forearm, follow the action up here. So this is how it looks like, you take your ready position, you jump in fast, you keep the elbow high, you put the racket low and you swing the wrist up which takes the arm upwards and then you leave the wrist out for a split second and you maximize the rotation of the ball. In case you struggle spinning up your flick because you feel you are a little bit stiff in your wrist, you need to make sure that the grip is, is uh, flexible and relaxed enough. So sometimes you might have a grip too high on the racket which restricts your maximum rotation. So make sure that here you have a little gap you take the racket a little bit lower so the maximum rotation of your wrist can be increased. So, how can we create a safer flick without risking too much. The key could be the angle of your, uh, of your bat. If you close it too much, you might create a spinnier flick, but you also risk much more because you, the chance that the flick goes right into the net will be higher. So you may take a little less risky approach by opening the racket angle into a 90 degrees or even a tiny bit more, with this approach you are able to contact the ball more on the side bottom part and with that you create a higher arc flick. This is mostly used against heavy backspin serve because the heavy backspin, uh, the heavy backspin serve requires a more liftier, more upwards coming uh, flick action and wrist action. So the starting racket angle can help you if it's a bit more open and the contact is being made on the bottom or on the side bottom part of the ball. 
So in case you want to flick to the diagonal backhand corner, your body needs to point towards the backhand corner. If you want to execute it to the forehand corner, you need to make sure that your body is pointing towards the forehand corner. At the same time, your racket angle should be adjusted towards that corner you wish to play the ball to. So while towards the backhand corner, your bat angle is pointing towards the backhand, when you want to play to the forehand, your racket angle should point toward the, the, the forehand corner. To the forehand corner, to the backhand corner, to the forehand corner, to the backhand corner. How can you be faster? How can you jump faster in? The easiest solution for that is that during the opponent's surf sequence, you start moving your knees. Being jumpy, uh, using your knees uh, like this, up and down, gives you a certain rhythm, and with a good timing, you are most likely able to jump in faster than just standing still and not moving your knee joints up and down. Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Ferenc for sharing his tips on how to improve your backhand flick. If you want to find out more information about Ferenc and his coaching services, go to Ferenc's website at paragontabletennis.co.uk. I'll have more videos coming up soon, so I'll see you then. Bye bye.